Now do you see the need to act, whatever the price? Geralt, open your eyes, open your mind. They treat people like you at St. Lebiota's Hospital. By pursuing me, you proved me right. You faced the dangers that humanity faces and survived. Jacques de Aldersburg, your dream is over. Patience. You may yet change your mind. Imagine thousands traversing an icy wasteland. Could you defend them? You and a handful of witches ridden with doubt, like Berengar? Impossible. Only the greater brothers can do that. But they need to be taught and led. They need you. Enough. Our swords will speak for us. How confident you seem. A painful lesson awaits. Fulfilled your destiny. Salamandra is dying, soon to be a memory. Salamandra means nothing. It was but a particle of chaos, the tool of the madman you just slew. Your past, your destiny, the reasons for your resurrection, all remain unknown. 
Words, words, words. You've always used them ably to mask uncertainty and fear. I once promised I would follow you. Gibberish, Spectre. Tell me what you want or disappear. Reflect on your deeds, Witcher. I stood near you when you arrived at Kermoran, an omen of its downfall. I observed as you judged the villagers of the outskirts, leaving only blood and fire behind you. You passed through Vizima like a sword through a heart, accusing others, destroying lives, mindful of nothing but your own purpose, to be achieved whatever the means. You slaughtered dozens with your witch's sword, you helped create the foundations for the Order's fanatical reign. You left Vizima in chaos, only to bring destruction upon murky waters. Every one of your decisions brought further devastation. Each choice you made led to greater evil. Vizima blazes. The Order and the Scoia'tael bleed to Maria. Does your neutrality not taste bitter? Stop. Do not deny it, Witcher. You are my greatest champion, a perfect means of destruction. Wherever you walk, death and chaos follow. Now, as it was years ago, accept it. Do not fight it. Give up to me yet another man you destroyed. Jacques de Aldersberg is mine. You dare to oppose me? I sense your weakness as your life seeps from your wounds. With every drop, death draws nearer. You stand no chance against me. Yield to me. Take him. I don't care what fate he meets. From now on, the soul of Jacques de Aldersberg, whom you knew under another name, belongs to me. Do your duty. Gladly. That sword is for monsters. You're awake, Geralt. I was getting worried. Dandelion? Where's the Grand Master? A few steps away. He's dead. For a minute there, I thought you were gone, too. Hardly a pleasant nap. Was I out long? Long enough. The fighting has been quelled. Foltas has regained control. However, Triss supported him. The effects have been shocking. Is she all right? She's fine. She stayed by you until I arrived. Then she had to go. You know, political duties. Caught between the king, her sorceress friends, and her personal life. What about you? Did you succeed? Yes. I'll take the final element from Jacques and close this chapter.
So, did you recover everything? Know what I found on the Grand Master? A Dimeridium pendant. The one you gave Alvin? I don't know. It looks the same, but older. He must have worn it under his armor for years. A true keepsake, perhaps. Maybe it was his way of repelling hostile magic. Or it was there to control inborn abilities, unrelenting visions. That's something we'll never know. It doesn't matter. Jacques de Aldersburg, if that was his name, is dead. End of story. What's next, Geralt? What do you mean? Come now. You've recovered what was stolen, punished those who hurt you, you played politics and dismantled conspiracies. You've loved, you've killed, you've come a long way, Geralt. What do you intend to do now? I don't know. Not to be trite, but as always, you'll be the leaf carried by the wind. Not to be trite, but as always, you'll be the leaf carried by the wind, on an eternal voyage in search of purpose and meaning. Enough philosophy, Dandelion. I did what I had to, and now I'll be on my way. What can I say? Godspeed on your path, Witcher. It seemed the conflict between the Order of the Flaming Rose and the Scoia'tael would turn Vizima into charred ruins. Foltest, however, found a solution. He let the two sides bleed each other. The Order's power waned quickly following the Grand Master's mysterious death. The flower of elven youth perished. Fighting in Vizima's streets, there were no victors. The non-human uprising weakened Temeria, and Foltest realized he would need capable diplomats. Triss Marigold became a royal advisor. Sorceresses gained influence. The king punished or exiled those who had plotted against him in his absence. They were, of course, soon replaced by others. Common folk saw no difference. They were too busy licking their wounds, seeking loved ones. Few people knew what had actually happened in those days in Vizima. They were those who destiny had brought together with Geralt of Rivia. Yet, they chose to remain silent. What then happened to the Witcher? That is a different tale entirely. Temeria and Redania are allies, thanks in no small part to you. For your toil, a worthy pouch of gold. Your Highness. Master. Farewell, sire. Hey! <laughs> 